And uh, I was a, a, a camp counselor at a sleepaway camp in the Adirondack Mountains near New York City. I was teaching young girls how to disco dance and folk sing. <laughs> I was the disco dance and folk singing counselor. And this song was written for the arts and crafts counselor of the boys' camp up the road. He was teaching the six-year-old boys arts and crafts. And he was kind of an unusual person to find there in the uh, mountains. He was a, a Dadaist painter from Liverpool, England, who had applied to this camp in the spirit of anarchy that was all through that decade, which I won't tell you which decade it was. You can figure that out for yourself. So, uh, we bonded over Leonard Cohen, because he was, woo! <laughs> so, uh, he came to me at the bar and he said those magic words, Do you like Leonard Cohen? <laughs> and back then, it was so difficult to find other people, especially my own age, who, who even knew about Leonard Cohen. I mean, now Leonard Cohen is so famous and he's on his tour and he travels and he plays Madison Square Garden for two nights and three nights, and he's doing better than he's ever done in his life. But back then, it was it was kind of hard to find other people who loved Leonard Cohen. So if you found somebody else, it was like a secret entrance into a club, you know, a magic club, a secret uh, society of people, and the magic word was Leonard Cohen. So he asked me, do you like Leonard Cohen? And I said, we all said back then, which was, yes, I love Leonard Cohen, but only in certain moods. Mm. <laughs> and you would say that because you didn't know your new friend and you didn't know, you wanted him to think that you were uh, cheerful and well balanced. <laughs> which I think is kind of a priority in the United States. <laughs> Not so much in other countries where it's okay to be moody or melancholy, you can be angry, you can be all these other things. But in the United States, it's very important to be cheerful and well balanced, or else they, they, they try to medicate you into a better mood. So, so, that's, so I thought, well, I hardly know this man. I need to be cheerful and well balanced. And he said, uh, so he said, do you like Leonard Cohen? I said, only in certain moods. And he said, what mood is that? I love Leonard Cohen all the time. Because he's English. <laughs> it's one of those countries where you have the other feelings as well. <laughs> so, uh, so we had no choice really but to fall in love, and, and we did so for the whole summer, which seemed at a time like an eternity, but was actually only about six weeks. Um, and so at the end of the summer, I know you were going to Liverpool, I would go home to New York City. This seemed tragic. We might never see each other again. And so I wrote everything down in a card, and I gave it to him as a gift. And he in return gave me his bandana. Mm. <laughs> Oh. 
You have hands of rain and water, and that earring in your ear. The wisdom on your face denies the number of your years. With the fingers of the potter and the laughing tail of the fool. You arrange your of disorder with your strange and simple. With a long and slender body and a bump upon the Oh, be like a baby that will not fall asleep. Girl, we up inside you, let me hear you through the heat. Oh, And go home.